Hello everyone, you are welcome to Agbedo TV, also known as the other side, the other side of the story. Um, my topic today is, uh, is just on a trending issue, you know, uh, this issue has been trending recently and um, I, I, I attach some sort of sensitivity or, or gravity to this uh, trending issue and it's just about um, the accountant general, the former accountant general of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, um, one Mr. Ahmed Idris. Um, it, it, it has to do with fraud and then um, I think there is um, sort of um, a court, issue, court case already pending and um, this gentleman uh, Ahmed uh, uh, Idris has been arraigned by EFCC at the um, Federal High Court in uh, Abuja and this case is, is ongoing and um, it is uh, purported that uh, this one, this uh, the former AGF um, Accountant General of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, uh, and his uh, two other cohorts, you know, have defrauded the federal government of Nigeria with a one percent of uh, almost uh, one hundred and four, no, one hundred and nine billion, one hundred and nine billion uh, do, um, naira, one hundred and nine billion naira. And uh, I was so shocked when I saw it on um, the Guardian uh, news, uh, and uh, though I've, I've also I've also seen it on, uh, on on the television, you know, from many channels. I've seen it from many channels, and uh, it is true that this thing is uh, you know is going on. You know, I I was just shocked to learn about this figure. How can a, 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 a whole Accountant General of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, you know, compromised three important accounts in in the, in the country. The, the, you know, I, I can I can I can just read this account out. You know, the first account that he you know he defrauded is the, is the or purportedly defrauded is the the single uh, the Treasury uh, single account which they refer to as a TSA. Then the second one is the Government Integrated Financial Management Information System which they refer to as the GIF MIS and the third one is the Integ Integrated Payroll and Personal Information System which they refer to as a IP PIS and uh, it is purported that um, this gentleman and his um, two cohorts you know made away with billions you know it will put some of money um, or, or up to 109.4 billion era. You know when this thing, when you 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 hear a case like this, you don't even you think that um, there's something your brain is not working well. You can't really you don't know if it, are they talking of money or they are talking of uh, ordinary people. But indeed, they are talking about money. This is our money. It's federal government money. How can people that are there in in entrusted into into a particular position be defrauding the nation just like that? And the, the, the people who really owe the money, the populace, the money belongs to Nigeria. They are sleeping at home. These people are, are, they are, they are all hungry. They have no money. Some of them cannot even feed three times a day. In Nigeria, we know that inflation is the other with this. So a, a, a loaf of bread now is, is about 1,000 naira. And this one, this, this, is, uh, this is the lowest one anyway. The good ones, it, it, it should be more than that. 1,005, 2,000. But people who are in office, who are, who are entrusted into power, who have been appointed by the federal government, they are there busy, you know, manipulating the federal government account, uh, you know, forming new business, making themselves uh, members of staff of the business, using the money to build houses, to, be, to build properties, and to, to build, to, to build shop, shopping malls, and uh, to do different kind of things, to build uh, properties in abroad, uh, you know, giving the money to brew the change and all these things and then the owner of the money we the populace of Nigeria, the, the, the people of the uh, federal republic of nigeria we are not aware that they are doing these things until efcc swoop in and uh, you know they now arrange them in court and uh, even recently i could see that um, these people are not begging for bargain they just want a settlement with the efcc which means uh, uh, um, they have agreed that they really stole this money because if you do not have any skeleton in your cupboard you wouldn't you wouldn't come to the point of um, you know begging the lawyer that you want to you want to bargain you want to make a bargain or you want to make you want the settlement 
because settlement sort of bargain or a settlement out of court is that they, they reach a, 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 with the lawyer, they can reach a settlement. And when they read that settlement, settlement between EFCC and, and themselves, then they, they take it to the court and they, if the court agrees, then it, that, that, that the, the, the deed is done. These people, I, uh, they shouldn't be left unpunished. When people steal like this, when people cut away with federal government money, well, they should be punished because this money, part of this money was also the money that um, that, that is supposed to be paid to the nine oil producing areas. And in these areas, um, they, they, I think about when they, they think there's a body that uh, look after, uh, this body that looks after this um, payment as well, this oil producing areas, about nine of them. And, uh, you know, it was calculated about, about, 2.2 billion dollars was you know was supposed to be paid to this um, uh, oil producing areas and uh, I, even in the one of the report they said that uh, about 44.7 billion 44.7 billion era was used was paid for uh, officers to pay to who will work on the payment of this money so if you remove 44.7 billion naira from uh, 2.2 a billion uh, um, dollars you know what it means so it is uh, you know it's, it's i don't want to begin to uh, you know bore you with figures i have a lot of figures here that uh, you know that these people manipulated and uh, but we have the total number the total number is about uh, 109.4 billion naira. this is trending and then uh, we shouldn't see it as a sort of uh, a surprise because this this is sad it, this is very very sad because the enormity of this problem, the gravity of this problem, is may, will make everybody to be sick and will make everybody to wonder what kind of um, uh, uh, what, what, what kind of uh, this uh, is this is this current government fi fighting? What kind of what, what what are they are they trying to secure our money? You know, if they if they are fighting fraud, what kind of fraud is the current government fighting? Because you can see people actually stealing this money. And, and uh, in, in, they do it with a sort of impunity because they feel that uh, the position they hold, nobody's going to is going to catch them. If not that this EFCC is you know has to you know, has to swoop in into this into this case, so they they would have done it and they would have been gone. So I thank God that uh, EFCC you know has uh, finally uh, found this one out, and uh, they are just uh, after them. So what, the reason why I'm actually making this video is that. Um, they said when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. Uh, it's about having a very bad government. When the bad government is in place, you see what can happen. Everything. Is good. The, 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 the populace can never enjoy. They can, they can never enjoy anything. It's it, it just about having this, getting it right. If you get it right, so we wouldn't experience all this type of uh, thing. You know that, uh, you just name it, Nigeria today is played with a lot of problems. We have uh, insurgency, we have insecurity, insecurity of all, all forms, all magnitude. We have uh, the terrorist, terror, uh, terrorist attacks, we have um, harassment, banditry, kidnapping, and all sorts of millions and, and, and killings in the country. So this is because the government in place is, is not doing, is not actually doing what is expected for the government because the, the, the priority of the government of any nation is to make sure that the people are safe. When the people are safe, then any other thing can be added to it. But among all, the government is saying that they are they are just you know after all these fraudulent people. They just want to bring all of them to book. But people are still doing it. They are still doing it. They are still they are still capturing away with with our money, and short the the population the people of Nigeria, they they they, they are perplexed. They are so perplexed they do something because you know when you hear about this case, I said there's a government there, a whole attorney general, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, sorry, a whole um, accountant general, not attorney general, general, a whole accountant general of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Do involving this fraudulent act, this is this is barbaric. This is unscrupulous. It's, it's unbelievable. How can, how can? So uh, the, the 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 purpose of this video is just to let you know that um, we have somebody that is credible that can handle the office of the presidency, the next president of Nigeria, and this person is is, is an economist. He has done it before. 
it's, 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 you know, it's Ronnie Mate as well. And he's a, he's a person of uh, Peter Gregory OB. And uh, his Ronnie Mate, uh, Yusuf Ahmed uh, uh, Baba Dati. They, they are the right one. They are the qualified one. They are the people that have the vision. They have the mission. They know what to do at the right time. When they become, you know, president and vice president in the year 2023, you will not, you will hardly see this kind of mess, this kind of, you know, fraudulent attitude, this kind of compromising the federal government account. You can never say because these people, they know what they are doing. They know how to handle the affair. That is why I'm encouraging every youth in this country, everybody, every male, every, every, every female, you know, people that want right, that have the, 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 the sound mind, people that have the, the wisdom to make right judgment. If you know that you want your country to be good, you, if you want to discard, you want, if you want to sleep with your two eyes closed in this country, the people that you have to vote for are uh, uh, Peter Gregory Obi and uh, Yusuf Amedati. They are the only one that can rescue Nigeria because there's no other one. I've checked it. You look at it, I know. The, 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 people, we, do, the, we don't talk about big parties nowadays because these big parties, they are food us. Nigeria is more than uh, uh, 60 years uh, old. But what do we, what, what, what do we get from, from it from, since our independence? What have we gained? Of course, people, we have uh, military held of states and uh, we have the, uh, the president, uh, presidential uh, system since uh, um, and, uh, Shagari, uh, Shagari came in. Uh, 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 but but what, what what are what are we getting what are we getting from it? it, it it's, it's, uh, I know that uh, people are actually some. Of course, I wouldn't say that Nigeria is not there. Uh, we are not. The, there's nothing done in Nigeria. But in terms of leadership, I think we are still failing. That is why we need the, the we, we we need these two people to rescue Nigeria from this crash, to rescue Nigeria from 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 this uh, uh, bondage because Nigeria is actually in bondage. You know, it's in bondage. People steal and they, 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 they do it with impunity the and they cut away with our money. And some of them, many of them are not found. They are never known. You know, this is why you see some of them building, having a lot of properties abroad. Where do they get the money from? It's just government money. They get this money, they lose this money, they settle their people that are supposed to expose them, they settle them. And that's it. We know they, everything is covered up. And you see, a lot, a lot of this money is missing every day and everywhere in different offices. And this, these things are not known. So it's only Peter Obi and and uh, uh, Amedati Yusuf. They are the only one that can rescue Nigeria. They are the one. When you vote for these two people, you see that uh, you know everything will be okay. Will be fine for all Nigerians. So if you do not have your PVC, try and get your PVC. And make sure that you vote for these two people so that this issue of banditry, this issue of insecurity, this issue of fraud, you know, will be accounted for. They will be controlled. And that is what I, that is what I want to tell us today. Thank you. Bye-bye.